A huge thank you to Voxel Dance, the creators of Tango Slicer, for sponsoring this video. What's up, makers? In this video, we'll uncover the potential hazards of resin 3D printing and show you how to stay safe while enjoying the process. While 3D printing comes with safety considerations, understanding these risks allows you to have fun and create while being worry-free. So let's dive in. UV resin is a light reactive liquid which can be harmful to the skin, leading to irritation, allergies, or even chemical burns if left untreated. If it does come into contact with your skin, the best thing to do, obviously, is to wash it off immediately with soap and water. But of course, let's learn how to prevent this in the first place. The first and most important safety method is wearing the right gloves. I know in a previous video I said to wear latex gloves, but from more research and from the comments that I got from you guys, I've learned that latex and vinyl gloves aren't good enough for handling UV resin. You need nitrile gloves, designed for chemical protection. And don't worry about taking too many notes, I'll include links to all this gear in the description. The second safety measure is eye protection. Depending on the viscosity of the resin, it can potentially splash. I've never had a serious splash happen, but wearing protective glasses is a good idea. Be careful and cautious with liquid resin and anything it touches. After cleaning up, keep the cloth or towel you used separated and cure it in UV light or sunlight. Once fully cured, it's no longer hazardous to touch, but you probably still shouldn't eat it. Now let's discuss VOCs. These are volatile organic compounds. When curing UV resin, some VOCs can evaporate into the air, potentially causing irritation, coughing, shortness of breath, if inhaled in large amounts. While VOCs from 3D printer resin are typically considered low risk, it's a good idea to check the details of the resin you are using. I personally have been using resin straight from Anycubic. We're not done talking about safety, but I think now is a good time to share with you a great slicer and some great models to print. Voxel Dance reached out to me about a sponsorship and I hadn't tried their slicer, Tango Slicer, before. I decided to try it before I agree to a sponsorship and the more I play around with it, the more I like it. Let's take one of these models from the upcoming Finch and Dragon Kickstarter campaign who are part of this collaboration and see how well Tango Slicer can automatically support each part. Wow, that is insanely good for literally just clicking a button. If I need to, I can adjust the supports, I can add and remove them, but looking around, I literally don't see a need. So now the real test is to see if this is going to print well. I'm gonna use the default settings for my printer, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K, and slice the file right in Tango Slicer. The results, well, actually, they're quite good. I'm very impressed. Tango Slicer does have a free trial, so I'd recommend you try it, see if you like it. I think the more that you play around with it, the more you'll see how powerful this voxel-based auto support algorithm is, and it could save you time preparing models for 3D printing. I'll also leave a link to the Finch and Dragon Kickstarter campaign that's launching soon. Now, let's get back on the topic of safety, shall we? <laughs> Some tips to reduce VOC exposure are to 3D print in a well-ventilated space or use carbon air purifiers, wear a face mask or respirator, Opt for eco resin, which may emit less VOCs. Once again, still check the labels. And keep your uncured resin contained and avoid leaving it exposed. Now, let's talk about working with isopropyl alcohol, or IPA. Once a print is done, it's cured and safe to touch, isn't it? Well, not quite. It's still coated in uncured resin, so we use IPA to give it a good wash. I made a video showing my process for washing prints, so if you want to check that out, it'll come up as a recommendation at the end of this video. IPA is great for cleaning, but it releases fumes just like the resin. Breathing them in or getting them in your eyes can lead to discomfort, dizziness, or headaches. So you should still take the same safety precautions we've talked about earlier to stay safe. Nitrile gloves, good ventilation, and keep it contained. It's a good idea to change the IPA out regularly or cure it in the sun and then filter it. You don't need to clean it after every print, but I've come up with some convenient methods for cleaning and reusing IPA. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button below for a future video on it. And if you've learned something so far, caress the like button below and give it a gentle tap. Our videos are becoming great sources to learn from other 3D printing enthusiasts in the comments section. Let's help each other be safe and have a great time with 3D printing and create a helpful community. You, of course, also want to be careful around the UV light emitted by your printer and curing machine. They come with enclosures for a reason, so make sure to use them. UV light is considered a form of radiation. Lastly, remember that UV resin is only safe once it's fully cured. 
to protect the environment and our water sources, never throw uncured liquid resin into regular waste or down the drain. That includes water wash resin. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has answered some questions about safety with resin printing. Links to the gear are in the description. Until next time, makers, keep calm and print on.